We are addressing the angle of the effects of breast cancer and chemo on younger patients' ability to get pregnant. Joining us is Alona Metz, an American breast cancer survivor whose battle to salvage her eggs has a happy ending thanks to a well-regarded Israeli fertility doctor who's using a progressive procedure to increase Alona's chances of getting pregnant. Please welcome Alona Metz and Dr. Hila Ranani of Sheba Medical Center's Fertility and Preservation Center. Welcome both of you to the show. Welcome back to you. First, uh, you know, tell me, you were diagnosed in 2012. You were still still living in L.A. at the time, you know, at a time that you're not thinking about having kids. So when you got this diagnosis, what was it like to realize that now this is something you have to worry about? Yeah, I mean, as you said, I was 28. At the time, I was a lawyer. I It wasn't even on my radar having kids. And all of a sudden, within one week, I was told, you have breast cancer, you're gonna have to do chemotherapy, you're gonna lose your hair, you're gonna potentially lose your breasts. Oh, and by the way, uh, you might not have to be able to have children after this is all over. Um, and I felt like suddenly, because that door was potentially being closed, this almost instinct took over took over me that I had to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and you was, tried. So you tried to freeze freeze some eggs to save, and it was not a successful yeah, outcome it, for you. Well, in the beginning, they told me they didn't want me to do anything because they wanted to start chemo right away, and. I insisted that I had to do at least one cycle to try to freeze some of my eggs before right. doing chemotherapy. I just needed that peace of mind. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, it was not a very successful procedure. I did have some eggs, but it was for my age range, it definitely wasn't right. what would be considered um, a good chance of getting a right, pregnancy right. afterwards. So it was hard. I, yeah. I can only I mean it's hard enough dealing <laughs> with breast cancer, let alone this. So for you, Dr. Renani, what is it about, you know, the effects of chemo and other, you know, ways to fight, you know, cancer that, that affects our eggs? What is the science behind it? So there's a lot of uh, implication of the whole situation. It's not only the oncologic uh, therapies. First of all, it's time consuming and uh, talking about fertility, time is the most uh, uh, biggest asset that we have in uh, fertility science. So we are actually losing time. These women are diagnosed and then they are uh, going through treatments and uh, afterwards they're uh, expected to postpone their fertility plans for at least two years. Sometimes it takes much more. So. You find yourself, if you were 28, you can find yourself, if you're 32, you're still single, and after chemotherapy, which has uh, effects on the fertility, it actually destroys much of our uh, egg pool. Yeah, which, which, yeah, which, which nature which does anyway. With, yes. So for you, you know, you had, you know, you, you have a happy ending. You've met your fiance and now you're able to do it kind of as a couple. So how has, you know, seeing, you know, Dr. Ranani, you know, changed your life? Yeah, so I'm now 34 and uh, I started thinking about trying to do another cycle to get some of my eggs also because I carry the BRCA gene mutation um, as well as some other fun genetic mutations. And so I may also do something called PGD, which is selecting only embryos that do not carry those right. genetic deficiencies. Um, so I tried doing this procedure again uh, after chemotherapy at the age of 34. Uh, the first time I did it, it was even less successful than before I did chemo, and it was really devastating. And um, yeah, I have a fiance now, so we actually decided to do it one more time together, and that's when I did it with Dr. Ranani, who was recommended to me by another young woman who had been through a very similar situation. Right, and so, she really uh, made a difference. Yeah. Tell us quickly about what's unique to Sheba. You guys are doing a procedure where you're actually able to take out full ovaries. That's is. Are you finding that that actually ensures more eggs yes, down so the road? Yes, this is not the procedure Al Alona right. went through. It's less uh, used in uh, breast cancer patients, but it's a uh, freezing uh, ovarian tissue. Uh, this uh, we do when we're facing real uh, 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 gonadotoxic yeah. uh, therapies like uh, in bone marrow transplantation, and it's more referring to other oncology situation, but also we have breast cancer patients that have done it. We actually do a, um, a surgery which we call laparoscopic uh, surgery, and we take uh, half of one ovarian tissue, we freeze it. And it uh, can be used only uh, autologous for these uh, women that froze it. Mm -hmm. When she gets healthy, 
if she cannot conceive by herself, after we used all the tools we have, we transplanted the back. So now it's uh, this uh, technique is established all over the world. Amazing. Israel, pioneer in science. Thank you uh, both for coming.